This is a brief presentation on distance amplitude correction curve. What is the purpose of distance amplitude correction curve which is also called DAC or DAC. DAC curve is used basically to compensate for loss of sound as it travels in a medium. And that loss of sound is caused by the beam spread from the transducer and attenuation losses in the material. As you know, as the probe gets smaller, the beam spread increases. So if the beam spread increases, the loss of sound also increases with the increase in the beam spread. With the DAC curve, uh, like I've seen here, it's uh, shown here, it's to compensate for the loss of sound with distance due to beam spread attenuation. And we have two examples here. One probe is 25 millimeters. It has a smaller beam spread, as you can see here, compared to a probe which is 10 millimeters in diameter, which has a larger beam spread. So, if we do a distance amplitude correction curve, the loss of sound with distance will be lower for this probe because it has a smaller beam spread compared to a probe which is smaller, which is 10 millimeter and has a higher beam spread and in this case you will see a sharper drop in the signal amplitude with distance. I will give you a demonstration of the DAC curve on some flat bottom holes using a single probe. Okay, we start with the process of creating a DAC curve. I have uh, three blocks here. They have flat bottom holes at the bottom of the blocks. The size of the flat bottom holes is 564 of an inch, which is written here. And the metal path is one and a half inches to the first one, three inches to the second one, and six inches to the third one. So first, I place the transducer on the block, which is the smallest one, one and a half inch. And uh, here we see the signal from the flat bottom hole, the first one, and that is the signal from the bottom of the block. So we set the gate exactly on the signal from the flat bottom hole. The gate is, as you can see, in green color. Zoom in. Here is the gate in green color, and the signal is here. The signal is, we adjust the gain, so the signal is about 80 to 90 percent and you can see it's about 90 percent. And then I go to the, the DAC menu, which is right here, and we start recording the signals. This is the first signal, and I record it. And then it says, go to the second signal. And that would be this one. And then again I have to move the gate on the second signal. So bring the gate on the second signal. The second signal is about 65% in amplitude. And I will record this one. Here we go. So we have two points now. Then I go to the third point which is this one and that signal is actually right there. Again, I have to move the gate on top of the signal. So we go here now. And there we go. So that's a third signal which is at, again I have to pick it up right there. And then I will record it. And that's done. So that completes the creation of the DAC curve, which is the distance amplitude curve. As you know, I said earlier that the DAC curve is used for compensating for the loss of sound with distance. This was a short demonstration of the DAC curve. In conclusion, DAC curve is used to compensate for loss of sound with distance. We use DAC curve for straight beam inspection. We also use it for angle beam inspection. The process for angle beam inspection is the same. Instead of using flat bottom holes that I use now for angle beam inspections, we use side drill holes and, or we use notches. So when we are doing piping inspection, the DAC curve for angle beam inspection is set up on the notches. 
and if you are doing pressure vessels then the DAC curve is set up on side wheel holes and that would be a presentation for another video which I will make sooner. Thank you very much and that concludes this presentation.